Previously on Rock Bottom, college president Nick McPaddywack called for a general assembly of the entire Rock Bottom community. Unbeknownst to most of the students, this assembly is part of an evil plan of the president's to take over the world. The mysterious figure known only as Sore Throat has been intervening for reasons known only to him or herself. Professor Wayne Newton was shot trying to stop the assembly, and the members of the Student Revolutionary Organization staff are determined to find out what's going on. Tonight, Rock Bottom, Episode 7, Assembly Required. We turn our attention to President McPaddywack's office, where he is holding students Kitty Boone and Boobsy Mittens against their wills. You can't keep me here like this. My daddy's a senator. He'll stop you. I am well aware of your father's political clout, Miss Mittens. That is the reason I had Mr. Dumfries here kidnap you. You might consider yourself Plan B, just in case things go awry. You make an excellent hostage. What exactly are you doing, President Paddywhack? You want me to keep her quiet, boss? No, Dumfries. I see no reason not to tell you, Miss Boone, since soon you'll be as much under my control as anyone else. Hey, boss, you sound like a James Bond villain. Quiet, Dumfries. I'm envisioning my triumph. Miss Boone, Miss Mittens, I would like to introduce you to Dr. Wiener von Fraun. Good afternoon, ladies. I met Dr. von Fraun during one of my many trips abroad this past year. Dr. von Fraun, perhaps you would care to explain to these young ladies your scientific discovery? Love to. Using a kind of subliminal influence flashed on a movie or television screen combined with a type of mind-altering glass of my own invention. I have perfected a method for completely controlling the minds of large groups of people. That's absolutely absurd! Absurd? Well, perhaps, but it works. At the conference where we met, we had some of the world's most respected intellectuals convinced that they were barnyard animals. We had to stop when a visiting professor of sociology tried to forcibly mount a former Nobel Prize winner. I recognize you from the news! You were arrested in England for performing cruel experiments on animals! Those experiments were not cruel. Well, maybe a little cruel, but if you want to make scientific progress, you can't be afraid to disembowel a kitten or two. You're sick! One man's sickness is another man's hobby. I liberated the doctor a few months ago and brought him here to Rock Bottom, where he could continue his research. And tonight, at long last, our hard work comes to fruition. When every member of the Rock Bottom community has arrived, we will seal the building. Then, while the doctor pumps gas in from the basement, Dumfries will ready the film in the projection room. I will make a short speech, let the public admire me, and then show the film, supposedly a simple public relations movie about rock bottom. Instead, it and the gas will put everyone there under my complete control. So what? Controlling one college won't get you anywhere. But you're wrong, Miss Boone, you're wrong! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Well, next week, the Board of Trustees, by then my willing slaves, will close rock bottom. The students will transfer and the faculty will get new jobs at schools across the country, where they will be given copies of the film and the gas. They will bring the nation under my control. You're insane. Someone will stop you. I don't think so. Newton is out of the way, and the two of you certainly can't do anything. Come on, boys. We have to get ready for tonight. These two should be safe here. The building is deserted. Let's go. We've got to do something. Us? What can we do? Oh, why do I have to be so beautiful? What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. It's just a great burden sometimes. Can you reach my hands? Maybe we can untie each other. I'm tied so tight I can't move a muscle. Oh, I hope these ropes don't wrinkle my new blouse. It's very expensive. Whoopsie, could you stop thinking about yourself for one second? The whole school, the whole country is in danger. Kitty Boone, how can you speak to me like that? Oh, no, you're not laying that guilt trip on me again. I'm through giving in to you, Whoopsie. I did it all through high school, but not anymore. Giving in to me? Kitty, what are you talking about? I thought we were best friends. Hello, President McPaddywhack? Who's that? Lance! It's Lance! Lance, help us! Kitty? Kitty, the door's locked. Then bust it down, you idiot! All right, stand back. If we could stand it all, we wouldn't need you to bust open the door. Honestly, Kitty, why you date this boy is beyond me. Kitty, what happened to you? Lance, untie us, quick. We've got to stop President McPaddywhack. All right. Uh, the, the knots are tight. There, gotcha. Oh, Lance, I thought I'd never see you again. Ow! Oh, careful, Kitty. If you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Uh, boopsie, right? Mm. Uh, there you go. Finally, let's get out of this awful place with tacky decor. Come on, we haven't got much time. Meanwhile, on the Central American island nation of Pequeño, Rock Bottom sophomore Estefan Rodriguez, mistakenly believed to be king, plans his escape. Guard! See, Your Majesty. The time has come for me to take a royal tour of the island. Oh, see, Your Majesty, we start with the peasants' fields. Well, actually, that's pretty much it. What about the royal airport? Your Majesty is not allowed to leave, Pequeño. Oh, I don't want to leave. I love it here. I just want to see our royal air force. Oh, see, the royal air force's name is Pablo. He is very good pilot. 
Go and arrange the tour. See your majesty. Stefan, you're living pequeño, no? Yes. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to try and hijack a plane. The plane. We only have one. Fine. I'll miss you, Luisa. My adoptive parents were always sending me, sending me away to school, so I never had much of a family. Now that I found my long-lost sister, I'm sorry I have to leave you. Stefan, take, with me, take me with you. Luisa, I can't. If we're caught, we'll be killed. They'd kill you even if they knew you were helping me. It's too dangerous. It's dangerous to stay in Pequeño. There is nothing to do here except work in the fields. Each year my countrymen die by the hundreds of sheer boredom. I will go crazy if I stay. Please, I want to be in America. Such things to see in America. Everything free in America. Okay, by be in America. Luisa! Okay. Stop it. Oh, sorry. I can help you. Balu is a good friend of mine. He fly for me. Well, all right then. If you're that determined. We're leaving as soon as the tour is ready. So go and say goodbye to your family. Our family. Right. Back at Rock Bottom, at the office of Campus Police, Kitty, Boopsy, and Lance arrive to tell their tale. Chief Metso, you've got to help us. What's the matter, kids? Chrissy McPatty wa wants to take over the world. So? Who doesn't? No, you don't understand. He's going to hypnotize everyone on campus. At the assembly, there's not much time. You have to stop him. I think you kids better show me some ID. We have not been drinking, you simpleton. Please, you've got to cancel that assembly tonight. I can't do that. President McPaddywack would have my job. I can't imagine anyone wanting your job. Can you at least... You kids get out of here. We've got work to do. Come on. We should have known better than to come here. Hmm. Petunia, I think we better have a talk with the President Ms. McPaddywack. Something's going on. Where'd she go? Petunia? Hey, who's that? Who's there? Answer me! Ah! Sorry, Chief. But no one's going to interfere with tonight except me. That evening, outside the Rowan Institute for Truth, Justice, and the American Way, where the assembly is scheduled to take place, the students and faculty start arriving, among them the members of the Society to Undermine Freedom's Foes. All right, Chris, we got the explosives? Right here, enough to blow this building sky high. We still don't know what's going on. We will, Barbie. Just keep your eyes open. What ho? I spy the approachment of friends and comrades. The fleetness of foot and lack of breath is the calling card of the work of a nation. Save the poems for later, okay, Terry? Hey, that's Kitty and Lance. Who's that with them? Oh, God, that's Boopsy. I hate her. She's so shallow. Laszlo, Barbie, you've got to help us. What's going on, Kitty? Have you seen President McPaddywhack? Nobody has. We'd better get inside. We'll tell you what's up in there. Come on. Hey, kid. Freddy. Hi, Roxy. That was a great job you did, exposing Professor Newton like that. Welcome to the Zenith, kid. Glad to have you aboard. Gosh, thanks, Roxy. Are you going to the assembly? Of course. This is major news. Everybody wants to know what President McPaddywack is going to say. Come on, let's go in. Right behind you, Chief. At that very minute, in the parking lot behind the building, the evil trio prepare their plan. Doctor, you get down to the basement. Are the gas tanks in place? All set. The gas release and the film projector will both start automatically. I still want you to stay by it in case there's trouble. Dumfries, I want you in the projection room making sure the film gets started all right. Right, boys. Ooh, look. A stray cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Such a pretty kitty you are. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Put down that sledgehammer, Doctor. I never pass up the opportunity to acquire new test subjects. Besides, I missed lunch today. You'll have all of the test subjects you could ever use and more when our plan is completed. Now go, both of you. I'll be in in a few minutes. Aha, the calm before the storm. Just a few more minutes and my conquest will have begun. I, uh, I don't think so, McPaddywack. Newton! I thought I had taken care of you. It takes more than a, than a boat in the chest to take me out of that picture. Uh, Hmm, interesting symbolism there. What do you have to do with this, Newton? Why are you involved? I was I was told of your plans, McPaddywack. Uh, someone someone had to do something. Told by who? Not by Sore Throat. Sore Throat? He's uh, he's spoken to you too. Well, of course. He's been really helpful all along. He told me all about you. But 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 that makes uh, no sense. He he told me about about you. Look, let me go, Newton. Can't you see Sore Throat as plain as both for fools? I, I have to stop you, McPaddywack. You're evil. Uh, evil schmevel. I'm a businessman. I could cut you in, Newton. You could be my right-hand man. The New Order could use a good film critic. Uh, don't move, McPaddywack. And just how are you going to stop me? Uh, with this. A videotape. Naughty Nurse Nelly in Body Cavity Search 2. 
Uh, oops, uh, wrong pocket. With this. You haven't got the guts to shoot. Watch me. I'm going inside, Newton. Shoot me in the back, if you're man enough. Uh, stop. Uh, make pay. I, I, I mean it. I'll, I'll shoot. I, I, I can't. I, I can't just shoot him in the back. Go! Oh! Newton, you, you did it. Damn you! McPaddywhack, he's dead, but I, I didn't shoot. I, I didn't. You're right. I did. So I throw out. Why? What are you getting out of this? That's my business, Professor, and nobody else's. Uh, who are you, anyway? Why are you always hiding in shadows? It's extremely irritating. You want to see my face? Here, I'll move into the light. Is this better? My God, uh, not, not you. So I throw out. It can't be you. That, that doesn't make any sense. Goodbye, Professor Newton. Thanks for all your help. Back inside, the students in the know plot their strategy. All right, here's the plan. Chris and Terry, you go downstairs and take care of the doctor and the gas. Lance and I will stop Dumfries in the movie. Kitty and Barbie, you go down to the stage and try to stop McPaddywhack. What are we supposed to do? Be imaginative, Barbie. You're a terrorist now. All right, I forgot. All right, let's go. Wait, what about me? What about you? I'm in on this too, Mr. I'm a terrorist, so I call the shots. Fine, Boopsie. You go check outside the building. See if anybody's lurking around. That's better. Come on, Barb. Let's try and get to the front of this crowd. Come on, Terry. The struggle for change starts with one small... Save it. How come you're giving the orders, Laszlo? Because I'm the most qualified, Lance. Do you know anything about defusing a hostile situation? I did. I just forget right now. Come on. The projection booth is right over here. It's locked. We better bust it in. Please. There are simpler ways. Hey, what's that? Portable lock picking set. I never leave home base without it. Voila! Ugh! Is that Dumfries? Uh, I guess so. That's the guy Barbie and I saw par in the parking lot with McPaddywhack a few weeks ago. Well, what's happened to him? He's got a hole in his chest. You figure it out. You know, I think he's been shot. But by who? What's going on here? At that moment, in the basement. Here we go. Be careful. He could be armed. Caution is thrown to the wind, but oh so often lives are thrown with it. Come, oh bitter death, come. The door's unlocked. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh! He's been shot. Confusion. Thoughts fly like wheat in the thresher of my mind. Mine too. Behind the building. Oh, the nerve of that Lazarus, whatever his name is. He just sent me outside because he knew nothing would be happening. Ugh! President McPaddywhack, Professor Newton, who did this? Inside, at the front of the auditorium... Do you see President McPaddywhack, Kitty? No. Hey, there's Sergeant Petunia. Let's ask her. Sergeant? Yeah? What do you kids want? Where's President McPaddywhack? Isn't he going to speak? President McPaddywhack ain't going to be doing any speaking ever again, but me... I got a few things to say. Sore throat! Do you need a lozenge, Sergeant? What will Sore Throat, a.k.a. Sergeant Petunia, say? Will the students be able to stop her? Are Chief Mezzo and Professor Newton alive? Will Estefan and Louisa escape from Pequeño? Tune in next time for the answers on Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom featured Brian Olson as the narrator and Terry Maryberries, Amy Strack as Boopsy Mittens and Barbie Latrollop, Eric Olson as President Nick McPaddywhack, Lance Von Chauvin and the Pequeñan Guard, Tara Kenvin as Kitty Boone, Jesse Rogers as Dumfries and Sore Throat, Terry Colosimo as Dr. Wiener von Fraun, Bill Bates as Estefan Rodriguez and Chief Mezzo, Maggie Reardon as Louisa Caldera, Rob Swift as Larry Laszlo, Mike Fulham as Chris Nitro and Freddie Kent, Julie Post as Roxy Biloxi and Sergeant Petunia, Sam Broderick as Professor Wayne Newton. Rock Bottom was produced by Rob Swift and written and directed by Brian Olson. Rock Bottom has been a production of The Tomato Heads.